assalamu alaikum uh, this is muhammad tahir nain and i'm going to explain you the uh, v class the course management uh, software uh, and its operations so let's see uh, after installation first of all uh, we'll have these two icons these two uh, applications first of all we'll run uh, this application and after some time we will run this application so you can see the is going to start the v class after installing uh, and uh, running these applications uh, you can access the v class from uh, any other pc uh, in the same network and uh, uh, the ip uh, to access uh, the V class uh, is the IP of this system that is 10.11.19.62. Now you can see we have uh, the running V class uh, course management uh, platform software. Uh, so you can see there are three uh, accounts one is for teacher, one is for student, and one is for admin. So teacher. Uh, can control uh, and uh, the his class his students activities and monitor and interact with uh, students in his account and student can uh, interact uh, with teacher in a specific class or course and admin is uh, for managing uh, the accounts of teachers and students so you can uh, log into the admin account Here you can see uh, on left side um, there is teacher management and uh, student management and resource management and lesson recovery. For example, you want to create uh, a teacher account for a teacher of any class, of any subject, of any department, then it is very easy. You can download the template and after downloading the template, you will open the template and open uh, opening the template you can write down uh, the teacher id that can be for example hutic so enable editing and then hutic and the uh, teacher id could be anything you can if you want to create for example 002 and the teacher's name for example it's uh, Muhammad Tahir name and uh, his email ID for example abc at the rate of gmail.com and then his contact number anything uh, for example I can write on 042987654321 and then his subject and uh, the subject uh, for example the subject is computer networking computer networking okay so all right and uh, after uh, you can save it and uh, then you have to import data uh, upload file file number seven that we have downloaded and edited uh, for the teacher's account and open it you can see the file and then uh, confirm now you can see uh, another account that we have generated you take 002 uh, name Muhammad Tahir name some email and this number and uh, the category mean its subject and uh, the other operations you can uh, uh, apply on the teacher's account uh, from the admin account you can disable this account you can edit the information you can delete for example if we edit then we can edit the uh, name email and phone but we cannot edit the id okay and uh, cancel Similarly, we have another, uh, other teachers' names and their passwords. Uh, we can uh, also reset the password for any account. For example, I want to reset the password. Reset the password. Though, so the default parts password will be uh, applied. And uh, and uh, I think uh, these are the all operations we can do uh, with the teachers' account. All right, and then we can go to the student management. In student management, you can see uh, we have uh, the students, 
number of students uh, that we have added so we can add students uh, from admin account similarly like as uh, same similarly as we have uh, done with the teachers uh, account who we'll download the template and open the template after opening the template uh, you can edit um, the student ID for example uh, is uh, Salman and so Salman not Salman is a UTIC student 01 for example okay then name Salman then email xyz at the date of gmail.com then contact number is uh, 0 double double triple three nine eight seven six five four three two then subject is uh, anything you can specify for example computer science and then the class uh, you can specify the class for example you can specify it as a cs001 right then save it and uh, import upload file uh, the student import file 5 and then confirm so you can see we have added a student account this account ID name email phone and class and uh, similarly we can edit the information right and uh, <coughs> we can reset the password um, and then resource management Resource management uh, can be done uh, uh, with the admin account and as well as with the teacher's account. So you can upload the files uh, or you can uh, uh, manage the files you have already uploaded. For example, I can upload the file original, open and save. Okay, is this is there is problem. I think it should save again. I will, will try upload any file, for example, this file and save it. I think uh, I don't know. It's a question. Uh, let me try again. Let's this file save this is uh, giving I don't know some, some error but uh, we can uh, add these files or any other resources uh, for from the teachers account as well then is there is a lesson recovery if we have created a lesson then we can also uh, manage the lessons from here now let me log out and uh, then we can uh, log in from the teacher's account right as we have created the teacher's account at qtick 002 and its password is the default password login now you can see the uh, teacher's user interface here uh, you can uh, easily create a lesson and the lesson name and the, the existing course uh, if you have created if not then you have to create uh, the course name as well right for example the course name is uh, uh, you can write uh, cs453 345 or 543 whatever you want then input the lesson name the lesson name is uh, you can write uh, fundamentals of uh, cs or computer science and then the next now you have created the lesson in a course of uh, CS345 and the lesson name is fundamentals of CS3 now in a lesson you can attach the teaching material by just uh, adding this the upload upload from uh, files for example this open and upload okay so you have uploaded uh, the file you can uh, share this file to the students students can download this and similarly we have discussion forum you can uh, post some question and ask for students to reply and comment on it and you can attach also some files similarly we have exercise you can create uh, the exercise uh, questions and answer and uh, you can judge and uh, 
evaluate uh, the teachers uh, uh, students uh, learning process uh, in class online and similarly we have assignment if you have some assignment uh, then you can upload the assignment ask for students to complete the assignment with some deadline similarly we have managed courses uh, the courses or lessons we have created uh, all we have created lessons would be visible in uh, managed courses then after creating the class lesson in a course we can start the class for example for starting the class you can see for example this one yes this and uh, so first of all uh, you can go to there and for starting a class so that uh, students can uh, access and download the resources we have to publish this class uh, this uh, specific course class publish it so after publishing you can see we have start a class option start after starting a class you will get a code so we'll provide this code to students if any students wants uh, to log in in the v class he has to or she has to put this code uh, with its uh, login username and password without this code he cannot even log in to the v class right so after uh, uh, login uh, the student can uh, sh uh, can see these uh, options teaching material he can download you can see send to students discussion and exercise and assignments and all these things so after uh, you want that these uh, resources will not be visible to students you can uh, simply end the class after ending the class this class will not be visible to students similarly these are teaching logs that uh, the what are different teaching logs that I have uh, done I have created some class in a course and its teacher name and start time and these operations similarly we have a resource bank this is the same resource bank that uh, uh, you can see from the admin account right you can upload some files but I think there is some issue uh, let me contact with the uh, uh, technical support but uh, we can I think sh there should be some option so this is the teachers account right so again let me go to the class uh, lesson class and uh, let me publish it and let me start it so we have this code a5 rv a5 rv let me copy it and after copying let me log in uh, log out and uh, let's uh, start with student account before let me check the student name and password so student management we have this uh, student Kyotic student 01 so let's log out and log in from student Kyotic student 01 and then the password the default password and then the class code that is a5 so let's log in so here the uh, the we have login the material uh, the class and uh, you can see the learning resources the discussion the exercise assignments right now we have not uh, 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 created any assignment exercise or discussion uh, but we have learning material uploaded but you can see the student cannot see the material right now so let's go back to the teachers account and the teacher account again log in the teacher account 001 I think and uh, then the password default password uh, let me check I think these are two one two here you can see uh, in a start a class uh, continue to class close and send to students after sending to students uh, let's again go back to the student account student account is uh, heretic student 01 and the default password and the class code and login now you can see after sharing or sending 
the resources from the teacher's account students can easily download and uh, the files you can see download now you the, the, the file is downloaded you can open it and you can use it it's very easy and convenient to use right this is the uh, your the resources uploaded by teachers and shared by teacher so this is the all the v class operations and uh, similarly we can uh, create discussion we can create exercises we can create assignments and uh, this is i think this is the all uh, the v class operations we can do okay thank you very much